the day. This morning's service is a result of a collaboration between the Social Concerns Committee and the Children's Ministry. It is a service to mark Earth Day and draw connections between our faith journeys and our daily lives. How to honor creation and the Creator in all that we do this day and going forward. This is the light of Christ, reminding us of God's presence around us, among us, within us. boldness before God because, because we, we know we are loved, are loved and known and so in the same way let us love each other siblings and cousins not, not only in word and speech but in truth and action let us join together as one flock to worship the one God amen, amen. Oh, 
one part of creation you know us and call us into bold service we come together this day to celebrate your creation the beautiful streams that surround us and provide us with food and water and that are often center of our communities we come to hear hard stories of where our still waters have been lost communities broken open our hearts to the hear the cries of our family of partners in Canada and abroad, so that we may be empowered to act in love for one another. For you are our shepherd who leads us toward green pastures. Amen. This is an Earth Day poem by Julie Lunty. To shun the earth, all natural things, we need them along with all they bring. Now it's Earth Day and we're all feeling at sight, so do your best to keep everything right. When red grass crow flying round, not hatch hopping down the tree, chicken dee 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 dee, ca 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 ca, chicken dee dee dee, chicken dee dee dee, chicken dee dee dee, chicken dee. Robin red grass crow flying round, not hatch hopping down the tree, chicken dee 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 dee. join me in the uh, prayer of confession. Holy One, we are blessed to live in a land of plentiful resources. We are blessed to have rules of law that protect our human dignity. We recognize that these blessings are not extended to all. We recognize that our privileges allow us to exploit others. We recognize that in this country and overseas, mining has allowed us to reap the rewards of natural resources while also harming your creation and fracturing communities. We recognize the harm caused by our want for more. Heal us in our desire for ever more resources. Forgive those times when we do not speak up against injustice and embolden us to be agents of your change in this world. For the building of the kingdom, amen. Scripture assures us the Lord is our shepherd we shall not want. Whenever our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. As a shepherd cares for scattered sheep, God cares, forgives, and calls us into community. Members of the one flock, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. 
Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Amen. The reading today is from the New Revised Standard Version, 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 to 24. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit that he has given us. May God add his blessing to this reading of his most holy word, and to his name be the power and the glory, now and evermore. Amen.
on August 4, 2014, between 24 and 26 billion liters of wastewater containing dangerous chemicals poured into local waterways and one of the world's deepest freshwater lakes. Quinell Lake in central British Columbia, birthing waters of the salmon and an important tributary of the Fraser River watershed, was irreparably changed when the dam at the Mount Polly mine broke in the middle of the night. For as long as I can remember, the waters of BC's Quinell Lake played an important role in my community, said Jacinda Mack, coordinator of First Nations Women Advocating Responsible Mining. We fished for trout and swam in its depths, camped along its shores and picked berries and medicines in the surrounding Caribou Mountains. The entire time, we were sharing our Klatso language and culture with our children. Jacinda's community has been devastated by the mine waste spill and the ongoing contamination of the water through mine activities. Despite calls from affected communities, church groups, and environmental organizations, there has been no accountability or justice for the people, for the animals, for all life living near Quinell Lake. A three-year window for BC to bring charges and a longer five-year window for the federal government to file charges under the Fisheries Act have both passed. 7,000 kilometers away, indigenous Lenca communities in Honduras are fighting to stop a mega dam from being built on the sacred Gualcarque River. Berta Caceres was their leader when on March 2nd, 2016, she was shot and killed in her home for her outspoken voice of dissent. Berta worked tirelessly to protect a river and a way of life at risk. The Gualcarque River provides Berta's community with food and drinking water, and Berta's murder sent a clear message to anyone standing up to protect the earth that they were in danger. The lone witness to her murder said, our dream is to build a different world, to generate life amid so much violence and death, but they do not even allow us to do that. Surely Berta and her community were walking in the most fearsome valleys in the days and months before her murder. As an outspoken and committed woman leader, she had been defamed, criticized, and threatened, yet her struggle for the earth and the sacred water continued. Evil surrounded her, yet she walked proudly in the footsteps of her ancestors. Listening and answering the call of Creator to protect life. It sadly took Berta's murder to bring about change, but in 2017, the European banks who were financing the project withdrew their support. April 22nd is Earth Day each year. It's a day to remember and care for the Earth. It's also a day for action and justice. There's a common chorus in Latin American hymns. God is not in heaven. God is in our brothers and sisters. We know this from 1 John 3, 16 to 18. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. We are pretty fortunate here in Alberta. Yes, we have had devastating wildfires, but so far, we have managed to escape most environmental catastrophe. And our lives are not threatened when we speak up against injustice or destruction. Currently, there is potential for lasting damage through mining and exploration in the eastern slopes of the Rockies, something that, depending on choices still to be determined, may threaten ecosystems, watersheds, and downstream communities. We, as a community of faith, and as fellow Albertans, need to take the time to understand how and why issues such as this arise, and how best to proceed for the good of all. How can we serve the earth and preserve our environment, while also loving and supporting our neighbors who need work? How can we speak to our politicians and decision-makers with respect and treat each other 
with dignity when we might disagree. As we struggle to respond to the call to be people of faith, caretakers of the earth and each other, let our discomfort challenge us to use our voice for the voiceless, the trees, the waters, and the mountains, like Berta and Jacinda. This Earth Day, as we walk on new grass, hopefully, and the abundance of life and promise blooms all around us, let us work together to protect Mother Earth, our common home. Let us defend her and keep her, honoring the sacrifices that so many have made for us and doing our part to live the vision of Jesus for a world of peace with justice. Let us pray. Creating God, you have called us to be in loving relations with all the earth, living with respect in creation, choosing love and seeking justice at all times. Instead, humankind has acted in hateful ways, exploiting natural resources, choosing power and seeking wealth in the present over future abundance. We need your help to fight for a better future. Help to awaken our love for a creation that is so magnificent that we, with all our creativity and knowledge, could never articulate it, and so passionate that we, with the personal price and communal cost, would still fight for it. Help to deepen our relationships and love for each other growing our community of allies so that we can work toward a sustainable and faithful response to the climate crisis. Help us to see the challenges faced locally, in our communities, in our regions, in our province, and in our nation. May we find our way through the thicket of people's needs and perceptions to come to a clearer path toward fairness, safety, and a livable future for all. We sit now in silence for a moment, 
naming some of these challenges to you in our hearts and asking for your insight and mercy. For the sake of your majestic creation and for the love of all our relations, help us to fight for a better future. Amen. As we go forth from this service today, may we celebrate Earth and our shared lives. May we recognize our connections to all that is in and on Earth. May we truly and deeply value the inherent worth of all in this interconnected web of our existence. May we commit ourselves to justice, fairness, and peace. And may we hold our commitments and each other gently yet firmly. Amen. This is the light of Christ, shining into all corners of creation, showing us where we are and where we are supposed to be. The Spirit of God, breathe it in and know that God is with us wherever we go. Sky. 